one and only Mr. Yusuf H. Shirazi. And for the eighth is his death anniversary, so all of you are requested to please kindly observe a minute of silence. Mr. Amir H. Shirazi, welcome to the event tonight. Mr. Takahumi Kuike. Thank you, Mr. Amura. Welcome, sir. And thank you so very much, Iman Rehmani. Welcome, sir. Thank you so very much. And you have this customer loved Ottomani brand in Pakistan presenting Mr. Amir H. Shirazi on stage, please. Assalamu alaikum. And uh, Pakistan, especially you and uh, ladies, there are a couple of ladies here, or girls, should I say? Girls, uh, uh, media, um, member of HECPL, Assalamu Alaikum, and, and all of you welcome, especially to, to our members who drove from Lahore. Uh, despite all the odds, and despite all the commotion, and perhaps uh, um, uh, news caption is drawn to some other end today. It should have been to the HRV's launch, but 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 that's the exciting part of Pakistan. And Pakistan is like that. The people who live here, like us, like yourselves, who um, were born, raised, who rely upon the economy, the economic growth, rely upon stability of the political system, the business systems and policies. on and off and if we don't have such commotions or some such uh, um, unpredictable events, I think Pakistan will not be as exciting a place as we were talking about Pakistan. Pakistan, for you, uh, welcome to Pakistan. It's a very warm welcome to you. Uh, and we offer that in many different ways. But uh, really from heart to all the media members and ones who've uh, taken the time out to be here with us. Look, I, there's a... Uh, to cut the story short, a lot of people ask, Ajkal, ke, a business mein hai, aapka group business mein hai, on the motor, this market mein kaam karta hai. Um, uh, kya ho hai? And a lot of things that they throw at us is uh, uh, same question that some, sometimes you ask yourselves, they're thrown back at us, some, some of them you will try and resolve, some of them there are different op options, different, different opinions out there, but one always needs to look at glass half full. An economy like Pakistan, a country like Pakistan, if we begin to look at glass half empty, there are uh, mind and actions and decisions will lead us to a different. But Honda Motor Company, at this group, come together, always view that there is more opportunity and there are more um, excitement in various uh, threats, if one can call them, short of any better word. But a lot of people ask, Kaji, um, what is State Bank doing? A lot of people ask, um, and what is the financial policy? What is the industrial policy? Why this and why that? And why is that affecting you? But my uh, feedback to you and my comments on that are very simple. First thing first, I think the whole world people who follow economic uh, trends and who read the economic numbers a lot more than I do, uh, they will agree that if you look at Europe, the demand is under pressure. If you look at US, demand is under pressure. Reasons can be very different. Uh, you look at various other countries, including home country Japan, and there, there's an issue about consumption. There's a general um, slowdown in the economy. But when that takes place, uh, reserves and revenue that we require to finance our imports, so pressure generate where we had at one time 
15 to 16, depending on, again, one can argue whether those numbers were correct or not. The 16 to 18 odd billion rupee to about 7, 8 billion rupee is what we have. Uh, million, uh, dollar, sorry. It raises a question. And that's where glass half full comes in. Our reserves are at what? The stated figure 7 to 8 billion right now. So we are told. Our demand, for example, just for import of wheat in a normal year is about a billion dollar, plus or minus. Cotton also requires similar, maybe a little bit more. And oil imports take the other major chunk, including edible oil, not just for the oil in our cars or HRVs or the other products we need, or the motorcycle requires that. So my import ke bill requires a certain chunk of export earnings. You know, the whole economy slows down, the world economy slows down, there's a pressure on exports, pressure on opening of the markets. This is the situation in Banja. That's the way we look at things. Now, Hakumat Jokarraya, one can always argue and present a very different picture, but I want to present the other picture. What if one of you and all, uh, we were finance minister of state and governor, we had reserves of 8 billion or 10 billion or whatever. I'm not saying it's right, I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm just presenting and asking you to look at the picture in a different way. Um, would we have gone for uh, rationing, would we have gone for quota system, which is what auto industry faces today? Uh, would we have enforced consumption, uh, curb on the consumption? so we can manage the current accounts. Then all of this adds up, and there's a logic behind it, I think. And if there's a logic behind it, and if we look at it positively, we can then together in his business house, or a business in a company, we can find a solution. If you don't look at the glass half full or empty, then our minds can begin to work in a very different way. My first feedback to you is, Joe Horaya, there's a logic. And we as business house or on that list car has to survive and operate within those, the new realm, the new reality. So um, that's, I think, one, uh, two. They, um, no, they, they also talk a lot about, um, uh, they, you know, there's more competition today. And as a Honda, you know, there, there's, so there's a Chinese, there are, uh, uh, Koreans and the Japanese members, and but and they ask us, and then an irrelevant question: How will you compete, and what will you do? So today that we are gathered, you, know, you will see a car, you will see a product, and hopefully you will carry the message back that you know there is a strategy, product strategy in place. We are trying to increase our product lineup, and that product lineup will match and compete uh, with with others in the market, inshallah. But competition is not bad. That's another way we look at it. If at Honda Atlas cars, this is what we look at. Competition brings in excellence. If there are more players, if there's Koreans, the Chinese, and Hondas, or Suzuki's, and the others, or EVs and all, great. Uh, new technology, new players always bring a new uh, way to compete. And I think that's good for the industry. So on the one hand, uh, government outlook, the financial outlook, where they're asking us to take uh, consumption, readjustment of consumps, consumption, production, and import bills. So what are they actually asking us? Why can you open it? Two, what are they asking us? And customers do, and some of the media members do also. Export ka kya hoga? EV ka kya hoga? Import substitution industry versus export. Relevant question, right? Medical relevant question. And there's space for both in this economy. And there has to be a space for both in this economy. If they are emphasizing and, and encouraging exports and giving them better quota, better uh, rates for electricity and others, great, they should. I as a finance minister would do the same. Try and encourage them. Similarly, there's a place for import substitution too. And the relevant question then, localized carrying, local buying carrying, of course, RP company, the Honda itself, tries very hard to 
we increase the distribution network, we increase the supply chain, we, we bring in more technology, and Honda is working very hard to invite many other know-how into this market, and slowly, steadily, you will see benefits of input substitution. And just imagine if everything was input, what situation, economic situation, what if there were no exports? So there needs to be a balance. And we in import industry should understand. And we need to step up also and come up with better, better solutions. And, and, and uh, as far as the product is concerned, I'm not going to take time away from my, my friend because they, at the end of the season, but inshallah, um, you will like the product. Uh, inshallah, you'll get to feel it, touch it, and sit in it. and. Uh, and you will then begin to imagine it, place it in your minds, how it will operate in the market and where we are placing it. But, but I think our approach is, uh, uh, Honda does, there's a lot of questions, why doesn't Honda come in small cars and why doesn't Honda come in in other um, cheaper products and all, why doesn't it become like Suzuki? But Honda is Honda. Honda's approach in this market again is, so from a product line at point of view, is Civic available today. It's a premium car in this economy, may not be a premium car outside, but it's a premium car in terms of quality and in terms of performance. Two, we are missing a link in terms of uh, um, uh, mid-tier, the SUV ones are today. You'll have an SUV introduction in the market, inshallah, and it will be catering to a different set of the market space, a different price segment, inshallah. It will attract a different customer, may not be the, uh, the high end, but that's not what we're looking for. We have, your company has City. City attracts a different customer base. You have a BRV. So as reference to the competition and what that I was talking about, to put all, the, all of that together, it has forced your company, Honda company, to become a lot more, Honda Atlas car, to become a lot more responsive to the changes in the marketplace. So Civic, City, BRV, now HR hoping to offer a solution to our customers in different price segments and become more competitive. The only thing that one would recommend to you and through you to the government would be there's a policy for EV, there's a policy for uh, hybrid, there's a policy for Chinese, there's a policy for uh, a few others, but rather than those policies for individual segment, I think there should be an industrial policy and there should be an auto policy, all under one and but as against as the Japanese, we go create a space for our, ourselves and the Chinese go, they create a space for themselves. And somebody else comes up with a technology and they go create a different policy measure. I think rather than that, it should be under one. And, and competition will find its way and companies which will have muscles and inshallah Honda and Atlas together have that power and the mentality to stick around. And to, at the end of the day, whoever serves the customer better uh, will inshallah. I hope you'll enjoy the evening, I hope you'll enjoy the car, do sit in it, do touch, do feel, and make up an opinion, inshallah. But uh, thank you very much, and thank you again for coming. Good to see you. So I present to you the Honda Corporate Global Video. Please, Danny, take a watch. At first, nobody believed it could be done. Become number one in the world? No way. Nobody has ever done it before. It's impossible. Everyone will have them? Are you serious? From the beginning, people thought it was a reckless challenge. It's better to give up. When we hit walls and stumble, there were plenty of reasons to quit. But we never stop trying. What is Honda in one word? Potential. Quality. Challenge. Passion. I think uh, Honda allows you to follow your dreams and passion. 
We are one of the most imaginative and innovative companies in the world. We offer a wide range of products, from cars, motorcycles, to lawnmowers, or even walk assist devices. Only Honda can do the most suitable products uh, that is suitable with the customer needs. Dream, the word that Honda was born with. I really want to help build products that become a part of people's families. I think when I see the customer happy, I also happy. Because it's my responsibility as an automobile R&D engineer that I provide a blue sky for my future generation. We create a new way, and that's how we create the future. Don't stop to dream. We want to make everyone happy. We want to make everyone smile. We have reasons to keep trying, believing, and advancing. The answer is in the dreams. So next up, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to call on stage someone who has helped Honda bring forth all the advancements, innovations, and build it into the mega brand that you see it today. Please kindly put your hands together for the president of Honda Atlas Cars Pakistan Limited, Mr. Thaka Fomi Kwake. Welcome, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for making time to join us at this launch event of the all new Honda HRV 2022. Today, you will gain a personal impression of the exclusive Honda HRV 2022's performance and the prospects. Our Honda journey needs no introduction as we have continued to keep up our customer Honda legacy in Pakistan as an iconic premium brand. As we aim for safer mobility for everyone, making the world a better and eco-friendly space. Honda has a history of success stories like that of Civic, which has always stood out as the most beloved luxury sedan in Pakistan, and the introduction of Civic, which till date has made outstanding sales. It is no secret that Honda City and the City are the most beloved and number one in sales considering respectable categories. Pakistan is a stellar market for Honda and as part of our business and brand equity expansion since 1993. We are focusing on increasing our customer base by introducing new models in different segments as per customer preference. Upgrade is what the customer wants, which has in a Kista, the all new Honda HRV 2022. It is no ordinary automobile as it has the most advanced technology and smart choice futures that will excite everyone. The success of Honda HRV has been witnessed worldwide with extraordinary results in sales having number one in Japan, Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia. The reason behind Honda HRV's success are its design, fuel efficiency, card, and interior space, along with its driving experience, which makes it a smart choice. The success of all our products and the anticipation of our customers regarding our upcoming products is a testament of Honda's commitment 
of providing quality and safety. Pakistan is a key market for Honda, and we are confident that our customer base would be amazed by the launch of this all new Honda HRV 2022. We owe and we value and care for everyone in the long term. We want to become an innovative and more eco conscious company for our customers employees, stakeholders, investors, each one of you join us here today and for the generations to come. Many thanks for your valuable time and attention. I assure you all will be as excited as I am after experiencing this spectacular HRV. ये जो नाइन प्रोडक्ट पाकिस्तान में आ गए हैं, ये पाकिस्तान के लोगों के लिए खुशियों की नई लहर ले कर रहे हैं। और आरा इस प्रोडक्ट को हम साथ के लिए बाई से अर्गाट बनाए। बहुत शुक्रिया। थैंक यू। so with that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to request everyone to draw their attention to the screen behind me as we like to go through a brief journey of how the all-new Honda HRV 2022 came to the life and, of course, all the vision behind it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Yoshitomo Ihashi, the large project leader of the all-new Honda HRV. For the first time in Pakistan markets, we are announcing the all-new HRV. HRV is a very unique model with its sporty and stylish exterior practicality that is a cross above and the features that match the customer's need. The all-new HRV was developed under the man maximum machine minimum concept to provide the space and practicality that is needed for a compact SUV. Exterior is coupe inspired with premium SUV styling. With bold character lines and smooth surface, the all new HRV embodies Honda's simple, clean, and modern design philosophy that can be seen in new Honda models. The all new HRV is truly a compact SUV that is unmatched in its exterior design, space, as well as advanced powertrains. I hope that Pakistani customers will enjoy the all new HRV, which will offer value that is incomparable. We are certain that all new Honda HRV will create excitement in your lifestyle. And now, I would like to call upon the stage, ladies and gentlemen, the General Manager Sales and Marketing for Honda Atlas Cars Pakistan to give us an in-depth insight about what the all-new Honda HRV holds for all of us tonight. Please warmly welcome Mr. Amir Nazir on stage, please. Welcome, sir. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Honorable guests, Assalamu alaikum. A very warm welcome to you all and thank you very much for joining us today. I am excited to share with you the specs and salient features of all new HRV 2022. The new HRV 2022 is offered in two grades, that is VTI and VTI S grade. The concept of new HRV is based on three key elements. Confidence, aesthetic and driving pleasure and it has sophisticated design, spacious cabin, high road clearance and improved fuel efficiency which makes it a smart choice. Powertrain, both grades of new HRV are equipped with newly developed Euro 4 compliant 1.5 litre DOHC IVTEC engine with continuous variable transmission. It has improved cyber security, environmental performance, fuel efficiency, and driving pleasure. 
It has maximum power of 89 kilowatt and has maximum torque of 145 newton meter. The recommended fuel for new HRV is unleaded RON 91. Now I'll share the salient features of VTI today. The black painted integrated front grille is provided which gives elegant look to the new HRV. Auto LED headlights with LED daytime running lights are provided to enhance convenience and premium feel to the customers. A newly designed 17 inch black cut alloy spare wheel is given to add the value for customer. Utilize the space perfectly as per your requirement. It has long mode and two Honda unique modes that is tall mode and utility mode. To enhance the comfort for the passengers, auto aircon is provided in and with rear vents. Newly developed air diffusion system is introduced in the UHRV, which provides pleasant breeze like a convertible vehicle and makes cabin environment more comfortable. To enhance convenience and premium feel, interior LED lights are provided along with front console light and ambient lights in, on the front. Audio control switches with hand-free telephone is uh, available on steering wheel to add convenience to the driver. The premium fabric seats are provided to la add luxury to this product. And other key features are like smart entry, push start, electronic parking brake, auto brake hold, econ mode, 4.2 inch TFT meter, Power window all auto and sun visor with slide mechanism are provided in new HRV VTI grade. Now I'll share the salient features of VTI S grade in addition to VTI grade. Body color painted integrated front grille which gives a premium feel and also the exclusive look to the new HRV. To enhance sporty look and Premium feel, the sequential turn signals are provided in VTI S grade. Front LED fog lights are provided to add more premium feel to the product. A newly designed 17 inch grey painted alloy wheel with 215R17 tire size and same alloy spare wheel is value to the customer. For the convenience of all passengers, dual auto aircon with rear vents is provided. Use, usage of cell phone, wireless charger is provided which adds value and convenience to the driver. To add value and luxury, 9 inch Android based infotainment system is provided which is equipped with improved technology and it has many advanced features like 3D navigation, built in SIM and digital speed display. To enhance rear seat passenger convenience, two rear USB ports are also provided. To enhance premium and luxury feel, the high grade seats are provided in VTI S grade. Now I will explain the safety and security features of all new HRV. Keeping the legacy of Honda in Pakistan, the new HRV is equipped with four airbags that will enhance the safety of front passengers. All seat belt reminder is added to further enhance the safety of all passengers in the car. To enhance security and convenience, the walkway auto, auto lock is provided in addition to smart entry. To provide better control and handling, uh, agile handle assist is provided in this new HRV. To further strengthen the safety of passengers at steep slopes, advanced safety features like hill, start assist and hill descent control are provided. Hill descent control is improved one which can work in dry, wet, rough roads and in snow as well. Furthermore, the other key security features like rear seat reminder, brake override system, child lock and isofix, auto door lock by speed, immobilizer and alarm systems are provided in new HRD. Now I'll explain the color lineup for new HRD. The new HRD have four standard colors taffeta white, lunar silver, crystal black, carnelian red and one optional color 
that is Metroid grays available. In terms of interior, both grades have black interior. Furthermore, first time in Pakistan, two optional two-tone exterior colors in PDAS grade are provided. Warranty, the new HRV will have three years warranty or 75,000 kilometer, whichever comes first. VTI grade, 5.999 million. And VTI S grade is 6.199 million. Thank you very much. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to present finally the TVC that all of us have been waiting for, for the all-new Honda HRV 2022. Let's go and take a look. The power of dreams. You have a busy day ahead of you. Finally here in Pakistan and we seem to be twinning as well. 